What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome to the Black Ops Cold War Beta and today this is going to be a bit more of a negative video talking about some of the things that are going on right now in the beta. I still enjoyed my experience yesterday. I played for about six hours but there's a lot of issues. Not saying these issues can't be fixed you know during this beta by next weekend's beta uh, or you know by launch. It's just there's a lot of concerns to a lot of the community right now. You can get on Twitter or Reddit and you can see a lot of these things being talked about and I can understand exactly what these people are meaning because I'm having the same experience. The main thing I think right now is the connections are absolutely awful in the beta. If you log into a game or log into play and you get into a game, you're going to see consistent packet loss in the corner when you first join the game. It's going to tell you that you have high packet loss, a cluster packet loss. It's got all kind of terminology there. But overall, it's just... It feels like a lot of times you're shooting enemies and the bullets just are not registering. You can shoot an enemy five or six times and you watch the kill cam and it's like you never even hit them. Uh, also, the other issue is you can notice sometimes in kill cams, and I've seen a lot of people complain about this in past Call of Duty titles. I've never really had this happen that much where you just get killed with one or two bullets. You watch the kill cam and it's like they hit you once or twice and you're dead. I never really had that t problem too much uh, connection wise in Call of Duty. I mean, here and there over the years, yes. But yesterday when playing this, like I said, for about six hours, it seemed like it happened just about every single game where you were just getting melted by someone and you were putting five, six bullets in them and it was like it was not even registering. Now, I did have some games uh, that played correctly, that played more like the alpha. But as of right now, I feel like the alpha connection wise was a lot better than the beta. Now, that could just been, of course, all the servers coming online yesterday. You know, it was just just kind of came out yesterday. So that could change over the next couple of days of the beta. I'm going to be kind of curious to see. Uh, the mechanics feel a little bit off. They changed a lot of stuff with that patch. And if you have not heard about the patch that they kind of dropped between alpha and beta, I will link it in the top corner right now so you can hear about all the changes. But overall, I feel like all of these changes may have made the mechanics a bit clunky. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it feels a bit off compared to way, the way it felt in the alpha. Now, the alpha, yes, was clunky a bit. But now it just feels like they've tuned things so much that it just kind of threw it off a little bit more. Uh, the FOV is really nice. I'm really looking forward to the field of view slider on next gen console. But I'll go ahead and tell you 120 FOV on PS4 with the speed of the game is not really that good. You drop a lot of frames when you're using 120 FOV. So I just went back to the standard 80 because the game plays a lot better, in my opinion, at 80. I think it will be good on PS5, Xbox Series X, uh, but on current gen, it does not perform that well. That has always been, you know, people say that that has always been the reason why Call of Duty doesn't have an FOV slider in it, because these current generation consoles can't handle it. The only game that I know that had a FOV slider uh, that's been on this generation that worked fairly well was uh, Battlefield 5, but that game was at 30 FPS, and also... It did not perform perfectly, in my opinion, but it was better. But this game's speed is, is so much, so much stuff going on, you know, in a tight spot. You know, you might get into grenades, people, several people fighting, kill streaks. It's just the FOV slider does not perform as well as it would, in my opinion, like I said, on a PC or on the new gen consoles. I'm really looking forward to that FOV slider, like I said, on new gen consoles. It does give you kind of an idea of what you can't expect when next gen is released. Uh, the footsteps, that was one thing I liked in the alpha. I thought you could hear people well. I thought it might have been a little bit too loud. They could have kind of tweaked it a bit. They tweaked the sound a lot. Now you can't really hear anyone. The footsteps sound very muffled. You can hear your teammates, but not anyone else. Uh, also, they have changed the sound settings for, you know, depending on what kind of headphones you use. They don't have uh, super crunch in there anymore. I'm not sure if they're just testing different sound settings and all the ones we had in the alpha and the ones we have in the beta will be back when the full game is released. Kind of have to wait and see on that. But sound overall was a lot better in the alpha. But that has always been a problem, in my opinion, with Call of Duty games. I can never quite get the sound right when it comes to footstep sound. And now they have added a lot of loud gunfight sounds uh, or gun mechanic sounds. You know, guns firing, reloading. Also, kill streaks are a lot louder than they were in the alpha. Not quite as loud as they are in Modern Warfare, but it is to that point where if you try to turn up your headphones to hear footsteps, it is a bit too loud and it'll hurt your ears, in my opinion. I'm just not a big fan of that. And last but not least, the sliding and jumping I still think needs to be looked at. I can't tell if the sliding and jumping seems broken still just because the way the connections are. A lot of times you'll have somebody slide by you and it's like they almost skip. And of course that could be lag. But at the same time, I feel like the sliding and jumping still is a bit far. I, I've had people come into a room, 
I'm shooting them, and they will slide way past me. You know why I'm shooting them, which is kind of crazy. But overall, I know this is going to kind of sound like complaints. I did enjoy my time with the beta, but I think there needs to be a lot of changes, you know, going forward, you know, during this beta, next week's beta, and also going forward to the final release of the game. Of course, in the next couple of days, I'm going to continue to play and let you guys know even more what I thought, you know, kind of about the beta the more I get into it. But anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.